Welcome. <laughs> he hit the reset button. I almost broke my Genesis. Well, sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, this is one year after the events of the first Streets of Rage. And if you want to know the events of the first Streets of Rage, watch our Streets of Rage 1 playthrough here on Game Mavericks. There is a playlist. And Why I know we... that every single 39 of you did not watch it because... It has like six views total. Mm -hmm. By the way, I am the real micro. <laughs> you, you, you hear that? <laughs> Others member of Zebros? Yeah. So anyways, was... this is... If you really want a story, we're not going to read the text out loud, but you can read it if you want. What? Yeah. I mean, basically, the villain from the first game, even though... I know, I guess, like, they sort of implied that people thought he died, but apparently he's not dead, so he comes back and he's just like, Hey, fuckers, I'm gonna take over the city again. Come so, and stop me. This is basically basically a copy and paste of the first game. Yeah. You know, they make a few changes here and there, update the graphics. Uh, the music is higher quality, but we're not really going to review like, this we, game. We released, like, a three-part series of reviews on these, on these games, so if you really want to know our detailed thoughts and what we think... Um, there's that. We'll certainly have, like, some commentary on that here and there, but we want to change up the format a little bit from previous Game Maverick playthroughs just a little bit, just to... We're, we're gonna get that Zebro's diary out of here. <laughs> now, shut your... Shut crap. your big yapper. So, anyways, I'm Michael, and this is... Mike this Rowe. big oaf over here is Mike Rowe. This is Mike Rowe from Dirty Jobs. <laughs> So, Mike Rowe, what, what sort of experiences do you have with uh, Streets of Rage 2? Uh, um, I'm not really Mike Rowe. I'm uh, M I C R O, Mike oh, Rowe. You I know, see. the Michael Crichton novel. <laughs> the Mikey Zander novel. No. The Mikey Zander. The Mike Rowe is just, uh, it's just uh, a funny way to say Ethan. It's a funny way to pronounce Ethan. Mm -hmm. But no, I am back in the Maverick chair after a long three and a half months or so of mm. Summer Bay Cassionis. Yeah, I mean, like, I explained this in the Warrior Lane 4 playthrough, but we, we were in separate states then. And, uh, <laughs> did you ever upload that episode that I demanded you delete? Yeah, no. <laughs> I actually did <laughs> no, not. If any, for the six people that watched the Warrior Land. Uh, that one was relatively popular for some reason. I don't oh, know why. Oh, because it's a Nintendo. Mayhap. Nah, <laughs> I, I, I watched their video and they made fun of me a lot, so I'm like, you can't air this. But... Nothing came of it. He just deleted it, and we're still pals. Isn't that right, you asshole? Yep. But at any rate, at any rate, let's continue on with the first level. A lot. You of might notice that the Chuckles isn't here. The third guy that is usually part of us. He won't. Darn it. Like he wasn't in the playthrough of the first Streets of Rage, and we just kind of wanted to get back into the swing of things together because I've been commentating all summer and stuff, but Ethan Leroy here has not. Earth so, and at hand. At Hand has not, and so we figured that, you know, like, this is a game that, um, At Hand really likes, so we figured, eh, we did the first one, we haven't done the second one yet, we might as well do this relatively short game, get back into the swing of things, get back to the commentation wrong. That and the game is actually fun! <laughs> oh, another thing, um, last time we said we were gonna try to get, we are gonna try to play some games on actual hardware from now mm -hmm. on. We actually got all the necessary components together, and we are playing this on an actual Genesis console. At long last! Long last. We're, the first time we, first time around we played this on a PS3, but now we're actually playing this on my Sega Genesis Model 1. Mm. I love my model. Which is the best model of the Genesis. Well, it is. My high-definition model, which is sitting above my... Should I save that for our next uh... playthrough? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Should I at least Ethan tell has him? like a little surprise. We're gonna have some interesting playthroughs in store for you this year, ladies and gentlemen. It's a Sega CD. <laughs> and Ethan actually owns games for it, and they don't suck. <laughs> oh, it's, hey, look, it's your uh, resident. Darn, I or, can't. It's your RA, Jack. Yeah. yeah. His name is Jack. Yeah, we we live in college. <laughs> Are we gonna tell him what college we're from now or what? Mm, yeah, we're still at. <laughs> University. We're still at Anonymous University. I was at the U of <laughs> this weekend. That's the University of <laughs> <laughs> Making fun of our own jokes. Hey, I stabbed him in the face at least. Yeah, I'm not paying attention to anything I'm doing. That's kind of what happens when you play. You can't really focus as well as... Screw you. Fuck you. <laughs> well, I, I have... It reminds me of that one 
that one part in the review where it was just like towards the end of the level and then it's just like, I'm just sitting there and then like suddenly like the, the camera zooms Fuck. in on you throwing a knife at me. <laughs> Oh, no, I, I think I kicked and then, you. Like, and then in the Rage 3 review, like, I was just about like, okay, we're, we're almost to the final level, we're almost to Mr. X. No! And then, like, you punch me in the back and I die. For, like, the did, last time. Did I the... really? Yeah, that, oh, that's yeah, what that's right. I killed you. That was funny. That, and, that then, was... and then, like, in the actual review, we didn't, like, even write anything about it. It was just like, oh, you died. We, we didn't even and think about it. Yeah, we zoomed didn't... in on it. Yeah, like, you didn't even acknowledge that you had just killed me. It's just like, I, huh, you just suck at this game. <laughs> yeah, so let's stop reviewing this and actually talk about the game. Uh, this no, we, game... Were, we, were, we were reviewing our previous review of it. Yeah, we're reviewing our review. It was our first and probably last review together, because Michael and I cannot decide what we like, and we can't agree on what we like in games, so we're not really going to review games together. Yeah. But we will play games together, if that makes any sense. I mean... You have some very drastically different views on some things, so it makes yeah. it it makes it kind of hard to sit down and write shit together. I'm not gonna lie. When both of you like like games for opposite reasons, and you can't respect each well, you can respect, but you can't like each other's favorite games. <laughs> yeah, like I, what's your favorite game? Like Marion. Uh, right now it's looking like Galaxy Two. Yeah, like I could never, I could honestly never sit down and play that game if I wanted to. I get, I get so bored. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> what did I do? I like the parallax scrolling. Mm. I oh. can never, I can never play it like a Mario game. Honestly, they, they just bore me. Mm. I'm not saying they're bad games; they're just not the games for me. Oh, by the way, notice that that weird guy in the back, the bartender, just up and vanished. Yeah, You're this punching game. her in the bub. In the bub. The baps. The bubba gump. Punching her in the babs. Bags mini. The beebs. Punching her in the beebs. In the uh, and she's gone. The j and No. She, and no, she's dead. So anyways, this music... Let's try to finish a thought before we just jump <laughs> on to something else. Since when have we ever done that? And the guy Mavericks. Jim Maverick. <laughs> the Jim Mavericks. Jim Maverick Liciousnesses. Just mess up the name is three days after possible. the birth of Steve Porkola, our our Lord and Savior. I just realized that when you that when you uh, mix around the letters, pork and it pork. could be pork. <laughs> That's so funny. So we'll call him Porkola, our mm -hmm. Lord and Savior. Yeah, our Lord and Savior. Should we should we even tell what that's about? <laughs> no. We should. By the way, we, we should, should mention turkey. Yeah, no, we should mention briefly that Michael and I don't really believe in anything. We're atheists, yeah. so we formed our own religion. <laughs> <laughs> and we're serious about it. Not yeah. really, but hey, I killed him and I got all the points. I like the Damn. rain effect. Damn it, you took all my points! <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, and you also have more lives than me. <laughs> but I haven't I haven't really I haven't touched this game since like December, I think. Well we played it once. Well, we might have, but last time I recall playing it on my own was. This like, is a really this game. This soundtrack is actually composed by, I think it was Motohiro Kawashima. Who no, composed, was, you, I think this one was by him. This not, particular track. Yes, this particular okay. track. Because I'm just saying the whole soundtrack was. No, no, no. Like he did. Oh. He did. Um, Yuzo Koshiro composed all the tracks in the first game, most of the tracks in this game, and barely any in the third game, mm -hmm. and Motohiro Kawashima. Um. Yeah, how would you describe his music? It does. It's more it's, ambient than it has. I mean, melody. like you can you can tell that um, it's you can tell that when Koshiro composes something, it's a lot more melodic. Yeah, like and he's trying. Really he's trying to take like really I, good I, instruments. I read some stuff while we were doing the review that he like took advantage. He took like inspiration from a lot of you know different artists when he composed for. Yeah. Streets of Rage. That's so. why every soundtrack of his is a little different. Mm. I mean, like, I want to say he composed Dark Pits theme and Kid Icarus Uprising as well. Or at least mm. the Orem level. Orem Island track I'm thinking of, but... Point is, I think, I guess I feel like Koshiro is a little more developed as an artist when it comes to, like, video game music. Like, when he's making something, he's actually trying to make, like, some honest-to-God real music instead of... Honest to who? Honest... Oh, honest to... Porkola, real music. <laughs> yeah, that's more like. I don't know how to describe it. Like, I'm, I'm sure you guys sort of know what I mean. It's more varied and much more catchy. Whereas this yeah. is like heart pounding. And um, I've actually, like, since, since the review, the like, I've uh, 
Streets of Rage 3 soundtrack's actually grown on me quite Yeah, I know. It, it, Streets of Rage 3 is really an underrated soundtrack. That a lot of people should listen to it because it's a lot better than what people think but it is. But that game sucks because it has a kangaroo in it, so therefore it's Yeah, bad. it has a kangaroo. That's my screw therefore, attack. Yeah. That's my um, Douche Pickles monthly review right there. That's Douche what, Pickles monthly. That's what we like to call a screw attack here in Because they're members. a bunch of... We don't, we don't like them. <laughs> I should actually try to pay attention to the game that I'm playing instead yeah. of just, like... Dude! Right. How about we uh, finish this here level and we'll call it a Pret? Yeah, we'll call it a Pret. Because I don't. I'm going to try not to cut things off in the middle anymore. Let me take a no, sip of this here prep. Don't you mean uh, soda? No. Oh. We we live in Minipop. Oh, oh no, I'm, I did get it. Fuck that. Sweet. Fuck yeah. that noise. Did you see that though? Yes. My health restored after I got in the car. <laughs> yeah. And it didn't even let me. It didn't even let me get near it. Because you're a goofball. And you suck at life. And I like how they have these guys in the background. And the interlacing is making parts of their sprite disappear. Yeah, whoa, whoa. Oh, shit. Whoa, shit. I, I forget, can you do those double moves with um, Axel and Blaze together? Like, in this throw, game, throw or one that just in the first one? No, it's on this one. It's on all three of them. I figured that, but I couldn't remember for some reason. It's been a while. Oh, I like how it just goes like... I know, then it loses the pipe forever. Wait, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you a super secret trick. What? Ha, I got an extra life. Ha <laughs> 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 Son of a bit. Oh, there's a Donovan back there. Oh, I like Donovan. how all, I like how all the black guys are just named Donovan in this game. Donovan. Did I kill you? I think you did. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, you. that's good stuff. No, I wanted those points. I wanted to steal them Fuck for me. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you. We should play the duo mode in here. The duo mode? Oh yeah, maybe we like as like an extra video or something. Yeah, maybe. Some that'd, be, that'd be funny. We haven't actually done one of those in the show yet. Extra part. So, Etherin, what what did you do this summer while I spent the whole thing doing YouTube shit? Uh, I spent the whole summer making shitloads of money and buying shit expensive games. <laughs> expensive shit. That cost a shitload of money. Like, a special one we'll be playing coming up here. Mm. It's a. We won't give too much away, but it's a Sega CD game mm. that not many people have had the liberty, the luck to play. Oh, I'll yeah, that. this guy. Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. Quick, use your screen nuke. Oh, wait. We can't oh, do no. that. Oh, no. I thought we weren't going to be talking about stuff like that in the playthroughs anymore, Ethan. Screen nukes? No, like changes in the gameplay. Son of a cock, man. I'm getting. I mean, like, the. Uh, the special attack system has been revamped for Rage 2, and honestly, I like Cock, it. Man. Yeah, it I know. gets improved further it's, in it's, Rage 3, and that's what I here. prefer the most. Like, the screen nukes were nice, but they didn't really. Cock, bitch, fuck. I prefer having like the more the more advanced move set, honestly. Mm -hmm. That's no. that's why we like Rage 3 the best. Yeah, uh, uh, Knuckle 3, the Japanese version of Rage 3. We'll get more into that when we f eventually play that one. Back. Oh, I was that story. That story I was telling you before oh. that I couldn't remember. I was telling you about the the dole, the dole at McDonald's. Remember? There we go. I got him. Well, I'm gonna tell this. I'm gonna tell Mikey the story off camera, and we'll see you guys next time on. Well, if you want to hear the story, uh, tune in in the next part, and you will get to yes. hear the story. So you should keep watching this playthrough, even though you don't like it. Absolutely, because who would ever like us? I mean, I mean, like we're total morons and stuff. Yeah, totally. Wait, watch this.